Hi friends, this is Naresh. Welcome back to my channel, Technical Talks with Naresh. Today I am going to prepare the second video on selection steps. So in last video we had seen the select members in the selection step. In this video we are going to see the adding group element or calculated field using selection steps into the OTBI reports. So for that I am going to my Oracle Fusion instance first. So I am on the catalog page of my Oracle Fusion instance. So this is the report which I had prepared in my last video. So I am referring the same. So I am just clicking on edit over here. So I just want to tell you that please go through all the videos of an uh, Oracle Fusion and OTBA. If you have any doubts you can write into the comment section. Please like share subscribe my videos. Okay now I am on the OTBA layout page. So this is the report which we had prepared in our last video okay so now in this video what we have to do so I am writing all the steps in the one notepad so in this video we have to add the group or calculated item so for adding the group what we have to do so I am going back to the fusion instance again so last time in selection steps we had applied one criteria so what was that criteria? We had applied the criteria on suppliers. So I am just removing this. You can see over here the graph and charts and the table also get changed. Okay, now I have to add the group. For adding the group what I have to do? Here is the supplier. Okay, on supplier we will add the group. So here is the option then new step. I am just clicking on it. And here is the option add group or calculated item. So here I am clicking on new group. When I click on new group, this pop-up will appear in front of me. Okay. So in this pop-up, what we have to do, suppose, suppose I want to add the result of two suppliers. Suppose I am having two suppliers that is same Amazon and Dell. I want to add the result of this. So I will give the label here Amazon plus Dell. Okay. And I am just clicking on OK. As soon as I clicked on OK, so you can see your change over here. Here are the all the default supplier which was came previously, and here is the last supplier which I added Amazon plus Dell. So what is this? And you can cross check also addition of this two Amazon and Dell is this, and addition of this two is this. Invoice amount paid is zero for Amazon, so that's why it is showing the same amount over here in both the field. Suppose I want to highlight this field. So how can I do? So I will just edit this again. So I want to edit this group. So I will click on this and here is the option edit group. So if I want to highlight, so here is the format option. So here are different options. The font type, font size, color and everything over there. I am just selecting here the background color. I am giving the background color as this one and I had clicked on OK. Then after it will load again the page. I am hiding the selection steps and you can see over here the color got changed. OK, so this is how to add the group into the selection steps. OK, now I will show you how to add the calculated fill. For that I am just enabling the selection step again. Here is the supplier. So what I have to do, I have to add the calculated field. So I'm clicking on option new steps. In new step, we are having add group or calculated items. So this option we had already seen. What is this option? So let existing group or calculated item. Suppose we had already done some existing grouping and or calculations and we had saved that somewhere. So we can click this option and we can browse it from there. So you can see over here we are having this my folder and share folder. So we can browse that. But we had not saved any calculation previously. So I am just cancelling this and I am just again clicking on new steps. And here again I am going to new calculated item. So when I clicked on new calculated item it will open one pop up for us. Suppose here now I want to subtract the value of Amazon and the Dell. So I had populated Amazon over here. Now I am selecting the minus sign and here I am selecting again the Dell and then I am giving the heading as Amazon minus 
metal okay and i will change the color again i will give the background color as yellow so when i clicked on ok over here it will load the report again and it will generate one value so i am just hiding the selection steps so you can see over here what i had did i had minus amazon minus dull so dull value is very high so that's why it is showing me the negative value over here okay so by this way we can do the calculations also okay but suppose i want to show the overall calculation for this what is the overall addition of this column or this column so for that what i have to do i have to click on the column where i want to do the addition or overall calculation i have to right click and here is the show rows level grand total so i have to select here after values when i clicked on after value it will shows me the total at the end okay so suppose i want to do this for the supplier wise or the business group wise then what i have to do show subtotal after rows and i clicked on this so after every supplier type i will get the subtotal okay so this will help you if you if you add the invoice type code column also that time this will be more clear for you on the same screen so i am just saving this report again and if you want to view the report on dashboard you can click here on the default and you can see the same changes over here okay so in this video we had seen the two things that are how to add the groups in the selection steps and how to add the calculated items in the selection steps okay in next video we are going to see how to apply the conditions in selection steps if you like this video don't forget to like share subscribe my channel technical talks with naresh to get more videos on oracle sql plsql oracle application oaf and other technologies thank you